I'm Zane. I'm Joseph. And I'm Kate. And this is your SRTV News. Seniors, reminder to turn in baby pictures to the guidance office by October 16th. A representative from the Army will be in the guidance office today during sixth period. If you are a junior or senior and interested in speaking with him, stop by the guidance office for a pass. One act play. As all students grades 9 through 12 interested in being in this year's district one act play cast should attend auditions in the high school auditorium tonight at 530. Homecoming. Homecoming week starts next Monday. Celebrate by taking part in the dress up days. Monday, gender switch. Tuesday, dress as a Disney movie. Freshmen, Hercules, Sophomores, Monsters, Inc., Juniors, Toy Story, and Seniors, Star Wars. On Wednesday, it is the Color Wars. Freshmen, Red, Sophomores, Blue, Juniors, White, and Seniors, Black. Thursday, teachers dress like students and students dress like teachers. Friday is Raider Day. Full agenda for the week's activities has been sent to your Raider Mail account. Voting. We will vote for Homecoming King and Queen during second period tomorrow. Attention juniors, remi reminder to sign up in the guidance office for the ASVAB or the PSAT if you are interested in the, the test will be administered on Wednesday, October 14th and there is a $15 fee for the PSAT. Stop by the guidance office if you have any questions. Tomorrow, Sydney Cross Country invites starting at 3. Also tomorrow, Ra Raider Volleyball in Alliance at 5. Dismiss the team at 2.15. Friday, the varsity football team travels to Scotts Bluff to play the Bearcats to open district play. Game begins at 7. Dismiss the team at 3.15. Saturday, varsity volleyball tournament in Mitchell. And your lunch today is enchiladas, corn dog, ham sandwich, California veggies, pineapple, and milk. The more you know, watch out for bananas. Bananas are slightly radioactive because they contain potassium and potassium decays. Potassium is the necessary substance for healthy operation of your body. You would have to eat a lot of bananas just to compete with the natural potassium dose of your body. And here's Joseph with our world news. Scientists at Ohio State University say they figured out a way to grow the genetic equivalent of a nearly complete embryonic human brain. Technically, they're not quite brains. They're called brain organoids, pieces of human tissues grown in petri dishes from skin cells. These little blobs of tissues, three, two to three millimeters long, could help researchers test drugs and other treatments that may, that may help prevent, fight, and maybe even cure some of the most devastating disorders and diseases of our time. The apparent online writings of the mother of the man who killed nine people at a community college in Oregon discusses guns and the autism spectrum, painting a partial picture of the environment the family lived in, their beliefs, and the challenges they faced. Her apparent views on guns after differ largely from her former husband, Ian Mercer, who told CNN the, sh the shooting would not have happened if his son, who was 26 years old, had not had, ac had access to 14 guns. All guns were legally obtained by the shooter or family members over the last three years through a federally licensed firearm dealer and a federal officer said last week. I'm Joseph and this has been your World News. So um, this baby kind of looks like a walking taco. I think more importantly it's a crawling taco. All right. This has been your SRTV News.